Hi, in this video of CSS3, we will check how to make multiple backgrounds. What we are going to do here, like we will take more than one image and will make the use of more than one image as the background of a particular div or for the home whole page. So let's start practical implementation where I am going to use two images and will make them as the background of a div section. So let's start the practical now. So here in the implementation of multi background, what I am doing is I have created one ID selector here as I was doing in the previous videos as well. So what I have done here inside this I have passed background image. So far we were using the same attribute background image but we were passing only a single value. But here using commas you can pass as many images you want. So here you can see I have passed a couple of URLs like first is logo.png which is nothing but the tutorials point logo and the second one is any background image which I have taken randomly. Now since I have passed two values by default the, the starting position will be left top but still I am specifying that that the position for the first is the left top comma position for the second is again left top. Now, since I am passing two values, so everything will be with the couple only. So repeat, first, no repeat, second, no repeat. And padding, padding is basically for the particular paragraph or DIV inside which you are working. So here is the DIV in which I have applied this multi background with some text. All right, there's a heading and a paragraph. So let's see how this output will look like. So I'm saving it. I'm coming to the browser. And will refresh so you can see like there is an image with this one and there is a logo all right right there and along with the text so this is the multi background if you want you can make some changes like I don't want it to start the first image that is logo.png I want to make changes in that like right bottom so I'll refresh and here you can see tutorials point logo is right here Alright, so this is image 1, this is image 2. So accordingly you can make the changes like if you want to repeat the background, you can simply remove this no repeat and make it repeat and it will start repeating itself. Alright, but I don't want really that, it is not looking good so I will keep it no repeat and it is giving me a better appearance. So this is how you can use the multi background feature of CSS3 using multiple URLs and multiple attributes for all the images which you want to set in the background.